Mr. Mandela was celebrating his personal 50th year. It had of course been released on the 11th of February of 1990. In 1995, he was the then president, so he chose to celebrate the day by spending it with former prisoners from the different areas of Roman Island. In attendance on that day was 1,200 former prisoners, general backgrounds. And what basically came about is that they came to the discovery that Robben Island had been closed as a political prison in 1991. The last group of them had been released. But from 91 till that point, Robben Island still had convicts. And what troubled them was that Robben Island, and as cliche as it may sound, was referred to them as the University of Life. It was a place of learning for them, basically that they learned from each other. It was still operating as a convict prison. So the nature of the island had not changed in 400 years, even while South Africa was changing. To represent South Africa's change as well, Robben Island, for that reason, was closed as a prison in 1996. To commemorate that day, as they left the area itself, and the decision they took to turn it into the museum, each of them placed down a stone to build a pile that you see, which basically marks 1,200 stones. Now, unfortunately, I haven't counted them, but I do believe the 1,200 <laughs> <laughs>